We have some breaking news. Samsung says it is halting sales of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphone after several reports of fires involving safe replacements. Devin Bartolotta has more on the major problem plaguing one of the world's largest phone makers. Last month, the Consumer Product Safety Commission issued an unprecedented recall of two and a half million Galaxy Note 7 smartphones. And even Samsung's fix for the issue may be failing. Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 crisis is heating up as phones keep overheating. It got really hot. Like, if it was in my pocket, I don't know if I would have been able to, like, take it out of my pocket. The highly anticipated phone pulled off the shelves at Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Last month, reports of more than 50 phones bursting into flames, injuring dozens, prompted a recall. But some of the replacement phones shipped out are still ending up like this. We're so fortunate she wasn't injured. Or severely burned. A new Note 7 is blamed for this canceled flight to Baltimore last week. Brian Green said his replacement phone crackled and popped after he turned it off before takeoff. Looked around to see what that was, and there was smoke just billowing, pouring out of my pocket. Samsung has said the issue is with lithium ion battery cells. It's a type of battery in lots of smartphones and tablets that millions of us carry with us every day. Ed Lee from Gadget Guru in Towson tells WJZ the Note 7 issue is an unexpected exception to the rule. These batteries themselves, like we've we've been using them for years, like in every phone out there, like this is just the first real model out there that's had incidents where they've exploded. Two major strikes and an unexpected future for a phone build as Samsung's best yet. Samsung has not said what it plans to do about this new wave of faulty phones. I'm Devin Bartolotta reporting. Back to you. And if you have a Note 7, you are urged to turn off your device and return it to your cell phone carrier immediately.